For park assist testing, where we are validating the accuracy of our parking sensors, the RT range system is calculating the position of either a bay, a car park bay, or a parallel park scenario. We can calculate one centimeter accuracy, the closest point between our vehicle and any point on the objects around it. Those being a curb, a parked vehicle, or a bollard. The RT range system and our polygon tool allows you to capture a bird's eye view of the scenario as it plays out in real time. And the one centimeter position, relative position between the vehicle and the objects around it give you that validation data point that you need to assess the accuracy of your systems on board. We've surveyed the position of two cars that are parked on the side of the road here, and we have polygons that give us the precise outline, 24 specific points on each vehicle, to give us a precise profile of where those vehicles are. During the parking maneuver, we're capturing the closest point between our test vehicle and any one of those 24 points on those fixed parked cars. Using the polygon feature, we're able to capture the closest point between our test vehicle and any one of up to 24 points on our parked cars in this scenario. Heading is a really valuable measurement point to be capturing accurately here. For maneuvers where the vehicle is driving slowly, we recommend a dual antenna setup to capture heading as accurately as we can. This scenario is a parallel park scenario but using RT range, we can also validate parking performance in a bay parking scenario. We can also survey a curb edge, and the bird's eye view feature in the RT range system gives us a top-down view of our scenario as it plays out for this test. It's a really useful visual sense check to understand what's happening in this test scenario in real time. So the engineer in the car can use that tool just to double check is the system performing in the way that I would expect it to? In most parking scenarios, it's a reverse maneuver. If you wanted to, you could place polygon points, up to 24 of them, specifically around the rear bumper to evaluate exactly what your ultrasonic sensors on the rear of the car are seeing during the really tight maneuvers. Back at base, we can further evaluate the data and the polygon feature in RT range means we can look at precise points in the vehicle that were closest to the targets around us and understanding how our parking sensors are performing, what they're spotting and how the vehicle is responding. Many more cars on the roads now will have park assist technology and it's systems like the RT range that give development teams the confidence in the accuracy of their sensors during the test phase.